Welcome to Reading the Bible with Pastor. Today we're on Exodus chapter 27. We've read about the tent of meeting and all of its items, the furnishings therein. Now we're moving to the outside of the tent of meeting, the courtyard of the tabernacle. And the first thing we'll read about is the bronze altar. You shall make the altar of acacia wood, five cubits long, which is seven and a half feet, and five cubits broad. The altar shall be square, and its height shall be three cubits, which is four and a half feet. And you shall make horns for it on its four corners. Its horn shall be a one piece with it, and you shall overlay it with bronze. You shall make pots for it to receive its ashes, and shovels, and basins, and forks, and fire pans. You shall make all its utensils of bronze. You shall also make for it a grating, a network of bronze, and on the net you shall make four bronze rings at its four corners. And you shall set it under the ledge of the altar, so that the net extends halfway down the altar. And you shall make poles for the altar, poles of acacia wood, and overlay them with bronze. And the poles shall be put through the rings, so that the poles on the two sides of the altar, when it is carried. You shall make it hollow with boards, as has been shown you on the mountain, so it shall be made. So this is the altar which the priests will sacrifice the animals on. And uh, the layout of this bronze altar, especially with its reading, is not fully understood. But the Lord shows the people how to make this specifically on the mountain, showing them exactly how it is to be done. What we have written here is to give us an idea. And this uh, altar is made of bronze. Uh, as we remember, the things inside the tent of meeting, especially the Holy of Holies, is made of gold. Outside the tent of meeting, things are made with other uh, metals like bronze or silver. We'll continue with verse 9. You shall make the court of the tabernacle. On the south side of the court shall have hangings of fine twine linen, 150. 100 cubits long for one side, which is 150 feet. Its 20 pillars and their 20 bases shall be of bronze, but the hooks of the pillars and their fillets shall be of silver. And likewise for its length on the north side, there shall be a hanging of 100 cubits long, and its pillars 20 and their bases 20 of bronze, but the hooks of the pillars and their fillets shall be of silver. And for the breadth of the court on the west side, there shall be, a, be hangings for fifty cubits, which is seven, seventy-five feet, with ten pillars and ten bases. The breadth of the court on the front, the east, shall be fifty cubits, which is seventy-five feet. The hangings for the one side of the gate shall be fifteen cubits, which is twenty-two and a half feet, with the three pillars and three bases. On the other side of the hangings shall be 15 cubits, 22 and a half feet, with their three pillars and three bases. For the gate of the court, there shall be a screen 20 cubits long, 30 feet, of blue and purple and scarlet yarns and fine twine linen, embroidered with needlework. It shall have four pillars and with them four bases. This uh, yarn of blue, purple, and scarlet is also the same yarn that it is used for the first covering of the tent of meeting. All of the pillars around the court shall be filleted with silver. The hooks shall be of silver and their bases of bronze. The length of the court shall be 100 cubits, 150 feet, the breadth 50, 75 feet, and the height 5 cubits, 7.5 feet, with the hangings of fine twine linen and bases of bronze. All the utensils of the tabernacle for every use, and all the pegs, and all the pegs of the court shall be of bronze. So this outlines the tabernacle with white cloth all around and pillars hold that up. On the east side, which is considered the front side, there will be a gate in the middle that is about 30 feet long with that blue, purple, and, and scarlet yarn to be used as an entrance into the tabernacle. Now the height of the tabernacle is seven seven and a half feet for the outside curtain, which means most people, if not all people, could not view inside the tabernacle without the gate being open, being inside as a priest, or making sacrifices, or being able to see it from a, a rise. We'll finish up with uh, verse 20 here. 
for the oil for the lamp. You shall command the people of Israel that they bring to you be pure beaten olive oil for the lamp, for the light that the lamp may be regularly set up to burn. In the tent of meeting, outside the veil, that is, before the testimony, Aaron and his sons shall tend it from evening to morning before the Lord. It shall be a statute forever to be observed throughout their generations by the people of Israel. Now this oil for the lamp is the lamp beside the tent of meeting, that uh, golden lampstand with seven uh, candles on it. And this oil given by the people, even though the priests are the ones that go into the tent of meeting, it is the people who provide the uh, means to have light in there. We'll pick up next time with uh, Exodus chapter 28. Please subscribe to the channel and share this with others so that they may also read the Bible with Pastor.